I just distinguish between IFOA and IA. This is a very common FAQ that students have. Whether should I sit for an examination from IFOA or whether should I should I sit for an examination from IA? Let's just understand what are the differences between the two. So, is there any entrance test? For IFOA, there is no entrance test. You can appear for CM1 or CS1, any two, as a non-member. Once you clear any one of these examinations, you become a member. You can take the membership of IFOA Institute. Once you take the membership, you can appear for the later 12 papers. In case of IEI, you have to sit for an actual common entrance test, which is ACIT. Once you clear ACIT examination, again, it's a MCQ-based, home-based examination. Once you clear this, then you can appear for the rest 13 papers. So, yes, for entrance, there is no examination as such for IFA. For IEI, we have ACIT examination. Next, what is the proximate pass percentage for all the papers? See, again, it varies a lot. But for IFA, generally, it is seen that it's somewhere around 30 to 50 percent, which is good. Compared to IA, which is 10 to 50 percent, it's very, very variable. Uh, for higher level papers, it might also fall down to 8 percent, 9 percent. For lower level papers, generally, it's 40, 45 percent, 35 percent. Again, in case of IFO, there are certain papers which have uh, their pass percentage to be somewhere around 19 percent, 20 percent as well. So, yes, it's variable. But if you compare the two, IFO has better pass percentage compared to IA. How many exams are allowed per term? Generally, for IA, the maximum exams that you can appear for is three. For IFA, there is no such criteria. But obviously, uh, no student will generally appear for more than three papers. Three is fine, but more than that, I have not seen many students doing that. Now, when do the exams happen? Both the institutes take their exams to in two months during the year. For IFOA, we have it in April and September. For IA, we have it in the month of May and November. These are the two months where the IA examination happen. Now, what is the first time membership fees? This is, this is a one-time cost which you have to pay once you take the membership. For IFOA, it is 14,000. This is an INR. However, uh, this is the current structure. If you convert it, so they take it in pounds. If you convert to INR, it might vary a little bit, somewhere around 14,000 currently. For IEI, it is somewhere 4,000. Now, this 4,000 is a one-time membership cost. Earlier, ACIT had a fees. Now, they have made it free. So, they are not charging anything for ACIT currently. But earlier, they had a fees for ACIT as well. So, 4,000. For IEI 14, this is a huge difference that we see. This is a one-time cost. Afterwards, as we have already shown you in the brochure, there are few price differences of around 30% in the two papers. So, this is the entire structure. Every year, you have to pay a renewal membership. So, the renewal of membership for IFOA charges somewhere around 7,000 to 7,500 under reduced membership. So, if you are a student who is not working, who is dependent on their parents, will have to pay somewhere around 7,000, 7,500. Once you start working, you have to pay the full rate, which is way higher. IEI, it is again somewhere around 2,000 that you have to pay as an annual membership. Again, you see a difference over there. So, these are the basic differences between the two. The syllabus is entirely the same. So, it's up to you that uh, which institute you want to go ahead with. Both the institutes offer some kind of scholarship to students depending on their income level. But uh, if you just want to consider different criteria as well, then you can check the overall thing and decide which institute you will be appearing your